Hi, my name's John. Welcome to another Sunday night nightcap. Tonight's nightcap is going to be a little bit different because I've had a little bit of an accident and I've hurt my arm. Uh, all I was doing was taking some stuff from a high shelf and stuff started to fall and I stumbled backwards and the next thing I knew I had a 2.4mm tungsten stuck right through the back of my hand. Uh, through my wrist, it was nearly out the other side. I'll show a little x-ray of it later on but I won't show all the gory horrible photographs. Uh, my wife Deborah took us into the RVI hospital and within 12 hours I was in the operating theatre um, under a local anaesthetic and had the job sorted. Um, quite amazing. I told the surgeon that I'd tried to pull it out and um, he suggested I didn't do that because if I had nicked the little artery or the big artery that's in there I don't think I'd be here now telling you about it. So the motto is do it pull out. I haven't got a great lot of video uh, for a nightcap tonight because that's what I was doing when it happened. But on the Patreon channel that is quite a bit of video all about a Sentinel S4 steam wagon regulator that I do some repair work on. So I'm going to put some of that up. I hope you find it interesting. This wonderful piece of Victorian engineering is actually a steam regulator of a Sentinel steam wagon. Right, as you want to see on a modern car, the thing that lets the fuel in, the throttle. This lets steam into the engine. I'll show you basically how it works and then I'll tell you what's the matter with it. There's a throttle pedal connected to that linkage there and that pushes the cam and say there, it pushes up on there and on the end of there there's a valve in there like a poppet valve on a modern day petrol engine it opens a valve and it allows steam into the engine the steam comes into those two ports from the boiler it's superheated steam, very hot and it goes out of that port there to the engine this part here is a lubricator that mixes oil with the steam these are valves for various purposes we'll go into them a little bit later on top of here goes this little piece here which has a hand wheel on it or a handle and you turn that it's a left hand thread and it pushes down and pushes that valve completely closed so it totally sealed off and locks off the engine the problem with this particular unit is it's been bypassing steam it's been allowing steam to get from the valve into that so that the steam engine is wanting to run all the time and I haven't problems shutting it off there's one more valve on here that's that one there and that's what they call the foot release valve there's a pedal you press the pedal it lifts that up there's a poppet valve in there it lets the steam out of this regulator body and it goes into there and goes up the chimney. Now the problem I've found with it, it's not the valve it's not sealing. Unfortunately, up that hole up there, there's a little pinhole corroded through. So the casting's got a fault and it's corroded through there. And that's allowing steam to go straight through there and straight out the delivery pipe into the engine which is why the regulator is not shutting off so I've got to see if I can repair that this is cast steel so it will weld I'm going to take some of the parts off to make it a bit more manageable and then see if we're getting this valve here off and get into it and see sort of what's going on I'm going to start by taking this part here off this one's looking into it as well it wants a new seal in there there's a lot of wear on it possibly a new bush there's, there's lots and lots of work to do to this particular unit and I've not had a want a bit, so it's sort of, I don't quite know what it's actually entailed. There's a split in here. It's possible that that's got a flat on that shaft. It appears to have a flat on the shaft, so that will push off there. If I loosen that nut off, that looks like a taper, which is clamping the valve. I take these two off, and then hopefully that part will come off, just to make it a little bit more manageable. These are loose, it's already been played with from what I gather. People are going to start complaining that I'm using adjustable spanners again. Well, this is not, these don't look original 
fact that's a metric nut on there so this has obviously been changed at some time being what it is really old oh no it could be Whitworth should be Whitworth but they certainly wouldn't have used studding like that it would have been something a lot more a lot better so I can find this spanner that fits that So these are definitely added on bits. These aren't original, definitely not. I'm not quite sure how this it certainly looks like it. like a pin chuck, a collet. Movement there but it's not what I, I wanted that to come off. I want the valve off from there. Looks like the valve's actually screwed in in this nut. Crimps them together. That's actually got threads in and it's been, it pushes across on the flat on there and then it's used to check it against that one. And that is as I thought it's a, it's got splits in it and there'll be a tape or thread in that nut which closes them up and that's what grips on the valve spindle. Right, so that squeezes the, together to hold the valve in tight. You know, the lad said he had this apart and tried to lap the valve in but it didn't, uh, it didn't make any difference. If those studs weren't in, that would screw off that valve, I think. So we need to get that out of there. This should screw off that, off that valve. It's possibly left hand thread, I don't see why it should be. No, so that, that screws off. And that's that's simple enough. Where yeah, that locks onto there. I'm going to strip this down anyway and have a look inside it and see what we can do to take some of the play out of it. That looks like stainless steel. If it is, it means it's been fitted after it was built originally. It's not stainless steel. Neil has that one. Certainly had a bit of a miserable existence. This. I'm going to replace these anyway. I'll make something better than this for it.
and the whole thing depends on whether or not I can repair the, the pinhole and the cap. And that's the valve. Seat's really badly pitted. It may end up with a new valve, I'm not sure. There's a gland in there, packing gland that one's repacking. That's made of bronze. And that's the, the packing material in there. That'll be old fashioned asbestos graphite, I would imagine, unless it's been changed at some time. But it looks too in too good a condition to not being changed. You see the graphite packing. I was taking these parts off so they do not get damaged just to make things a little bit more manageable. And that's quite nicely cooked up inside of there with oil and I think that that little oil port there needs to be modified as well, I'm not quite sure. Right, I've got various broken studs I need to get out but I'm pointless trying to do that until we make sure that we can in fact repair the casting. I might need to go and use a bigger vase up there for that garage. This part will probably need heat on those nuts, I'm going to put heat on anyway, I'm just not even going to try getting them all cooled. Heat them up and see what happens. That nut's been on there for a long time. Place all the studs anyway, but if I can get the nuts off without snapping the studs, it's always a benefit.
all different sizes. without heat. No way. Right, we've got one more. 